glad you are back with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So I made it back into the gym. I just went down there. I had to do something. I was just cooking myself too much. I'm like, as long as I can get a sweat up, I'll be happy no matter what I do. So I was like, fucking, I'm going to do the Stairmaster. Just the fucking circular stairs, never ending stairs. But I was like, I'm in such good condition that the Stairmaster is not going to fucking do shit for me. i tell you what I need. I need a 20 kilogram vest <laughs> on top of my fucking shoulders to get the heart racing after two weeks of doing nothing and also with a current rib injury. I was just like, fucking let's do it. So I put this vest on. It was so fucking heavy. It pretty much took me to the equivalent of the heaviest I've ever weighed. So it was like being in old boil shoes and it was uncomfortable. 20 kilograms in pounds is like 45 pounds. So I jump on the stairs with my fucking vest and I'm like, I'm going to do some interval training, some hardcore interval training and it slowly progresses. So it was doing like 50 or 55 steps a minute for three or four minutes and then it steps up to like 70 something steps per minute and then it goes back down to 50 something or 64 I forget which one it was and then it goes up to 80 something and then back down and then back up and then back down and then the highest peak I think it was 114 steps per minute you're really moving so I was cruising for the first like six minutes just powering up those stairs. Then it started to get a little bit harder. I'm like, I'm carrying a fucking cement bag up to the top of the Empire State Building like four or five times. This is quite intense. So I kept on pushing through. I'm just like, I'm going to get to the big peak, the 114 steps per minute, which was around the 24 minute mark. So by the time I got to the big peak, I'm absolutely fucking cooked already. It was a 39-minute workout, and I was meant to do the big peak three times, and then it was going to ease me down. But by the time I got to the first big peak, I was just like, Jesus Christ, I don't even know if I'm going to get through this. So I start peaking on the major peak, and I swear to God, it was one of the harder things I've ever done fitness-wise. Within the first minute of the peak, my legs were absolute jelly. I almost fell off like three times in the first minute and I was just like, just quit, quit. And then I was like, no, just get through, <laughs> get through this one peak. After that, just press stop and jump off. So I just pushed through. I think it was about four minutes of this peak with 20 kilogram vest, I couldn't breathe. I was just flopping my legs forward. And then finally, I made it to the end somehow. The second it slowed down, I pressed stop. And then I fucking was at the top. I was at the top of the Stairmaster, which means I have to get down backwards, three stairs. And that was harder than the whole session. I fucking had to steady myself because my legs were cooked. So I somehow managed to get down off the Stairmaster and I've still got this goddamn vest on. <laughs> so I can't breathe, but I need to get the vest off and I don't really have the strength to even get it off, but I manage, I rip it over my head, both my ear fucking buds pop out, fall over. I'm like, I don't give a shit. I drop the vest and then it takes me like 10, 15 minutes to recover. Then finally I recover and I go to take a step and I'm like, ow. And then I go to take another step. I'm like, ow. And I'm like, oh no, have I fucked my knees? I haven't got like great knees anyway. And I just did half an hour on a fucking Stairmaster with an extra 20 kilos. Have I made a major mistake here? And I go to walk and my knees, both knees are just arthritic. I'm like, I'm so fucking dumb. I am so dumb. 
it astounds me how fucking retarded I am almost all the time. I never really get a break. All I needed to think was like when I stay at my wife's parents' house in India, they have stairs and my legs hurt, my knees hurt. Going up and down those stairs all the time hurts my fucking knees. And there's maybe like 10 stairs or something. And I thought, let's do the stairs on crack with extra weight. So even after I caught my breath back, which took 10, 15 minutes, it took me another 10 minutes to walk out of the gym because my knees were so fucking sore. And I think I injured the bottom of my foot. (laughs) Just the stupidity. Just the sheer fucking stupidity. I couldn't just ease into it. Just fucking gently walk into it. I'm not meant to be exercising anyway. Just have a little stroll. Just a light sweat. What about that? No. Let's go extreme. But my rib pulled up pretty well, which is a good sign. I think once it got a bit of heat into it, it started to feel all right. It's still hurting like fuck though, but mainly just when I shit. I can't really push. (laughs) I can't really push when I shit. So I have to sort of like gently coax it out. Have you ever tried to take a shit without pushing? It's pretty fucking retarded. You just got to gently sing to it. Hey, baby, let's go. And then it gets to the end. You can get it to the entry or the exit without a push, but fucking to eject you need to give it a fucking little bit of a fucking stomach clench so so i'm almost popping a fucking rib when i go to the toilet it's feeling slightly better though i'm still at least a week maybe two weeks off even thinking about going back to jits and it's sort of poking out as well it's grown back in the wrong direction anyway fuck it that's my rib you've heard enough about that And where are we? It's Wednesday. It's Boyle Breaks History time. So how about we fucking get on with that? So this week's Boyle Breaks History, I was fucking, I was ready to do the Palestine-Israel conflict and I started looking into it. And basically what you've got on both sides are murderous fucking lying scumbag politicians on both sides. And then in the middle, it just seems to be fucking innocent people just getting wiped out. It's like all wars. There's some fucking agenda coming from the top and the people below, just the fucking civilians, become cannon fodder for this fucking agenda. It's the same every time. So to fucking dissect what's going on there at the moment was just fucking... A little fucking too much of a stretch. I tell you, Israel doesn't look good in the whole thing, but also Hamas doesn't look fucking too good either. There's more moderate parties in Palestine as well, like Fatah and shit like that, who are sort of willing to negotiate with Israel on peace deals. But Hamas, from what I can gather, are not into it at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Boyle Breaks History because I didn't know who the fuck they were either. Boyle Breaks History, Hamas. So basically, these cunts were founded in 1987 by a dude named Sheikh Ahmed Yassin. It was basically formed as a fucking Palestinian uprising against the Israeli occupation of the West Bank in Gaza. Hamas stands for Harakat al Maqwama <laughs> al Islamia. Like, you have no idea. I fucking nailed that. That's Hebrew or some shit, but that stands for Islamic Resistance Movement. That's what Hamas is, the Islamic Resistance Movement. So they weren't even political when they were first founded. They were focused on, like, social services and religious education. And then over time, they became, like, politicized and a military sort of force in that region the gaza mainly and then once that happened uh they started using acts of violence against the israeli forces and civilians so they didn't really come to power until 2006 
So there was a Palestinian legislative election that they won. But after that, they had a power struggle against the Fatah party. So it was Fatah going against Hamas. And then eventually Hamas took over Gaza. So Palestine sort of got split into two fucking separate Palestinian entities. One in the West Bank, which was led by Fatah. And the other one, Gaza, the Gaza Strip, which was Hamas controlled. And once Hamas took over fucking Gaza, that's when the Israelis imposed the block, 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 blockade of the Gaza Strip. And it's been pretty fucked ever since then. There were wars in 2008, 2009, 2012, 2014. And basically, a lot of civilian casualties. So Hamas, they designated a terrorist organization. In 1997, I think the US called them a terrorist organization. They seem to have no interest in peace, but there's other shit to it as well. I don't know what the fuck's going on. This whole thing's so murky because apparently Israel backed Hamas as a fucking opposition to Yasser Arafat or some shit like that, who seemed to have been more moderate. And the only reason I can imagine Israel would back Hamas is because they want them to cause troubles so the Israelis can come in and fucking wash it out and take over. I don't know. It's too fucking murky to understand all this bullshit. But uh, Hamas definitely have... (laughs) No interest in the Israelis. They want to wipe out Israel. They are keen on that. And I suppose if the Israelis continue to uh, carpet bomb innocent civilians, 2.4 million of them, I think there might be a few more people on board with that as well. I don't see this ending well for Israel, except Israel has nukes. Can someone explain to me, just anyone, how the fuck... Israel got nukes. That's all I want to know. They're a tiny little fucking country out there in the middle of nowhere with like fucking, I don't know how many people. What is it, like 10 million Jews? How many people do live in Israel? Population of Israel. Oh, it was pretty close. 9.3 million Jews. That's a lot of Jews. (laughs) Yeah, tell me how those cunts have a nuke. Or nukes. Can someone please explain that to me? The US gave them a bunch of nukes? What is the fucking alliance between Israel and the US? What the fuck? Where does it go to? I tell you where it goes. It probably goes into those fucking secret societies. I think Israel's the only country you can have a dual citizenship with the US or vice versa or some shit like that. It's weird. The relationship between the US and Israel is fucking weird. And how they got the fucking nukes. Please explain that to me. I suppose they would have been wiped out completely by now if they didn't have nukes. Anyway, that's it. That's Hamas. That is a little fucking insight. Neither of these political parties on both sides are fucking good. You just feel sorry for the fucking civilians in the middle. Anyway, that'll fucking do it for today. If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around and I'll see you the fuck later.